Taming run-on sentences, self-assessment and reflection. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to embark on a journey of understanding and correcting run-on sentences. But not just that, we're focusing on a critical part of your learning, self-assessment and reflection on your progress. It's not just about learning, but understanding how far you've come and where you need to go. To begin with, let's revisit our understanding of run-on sentences. These are sentences where two or more independent clauses are joined without an appropriate punctuation or conjunction. They are common mistakes but thankfully, they are easy to fix once we know what we're looking for. Now that we've reminded ourselves of what run-on sentences are, it's time to spot them in our own writing. This can be challenging at first, as we tend to read what we intended to write, not what's actually on the page. Look for places where you have multiple subjects and predicates without clear separators. These might be your run-on sentences. Great job on identifying potential run-on sentences in your writing. The next step is correcting them. There are several ways to do this. Use a period to divide the sentence into two or more sentences. Use a comma followed by a coordinating conjunction. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Use a semicolon, a colon, or a dash to separate the clauses. Remember to always revise your sentence after correcting it. This ensures that it still conveys the meaning you intended. Once you've practiced spotting and correcting run-on sentences in your writing, it's time for self-assessment and reflection. Ask yourself, how quickly and accurately can I identify run-on sentences? How comfortable am I with using different methods to correct run-on sentences? Do I understand why my corrections are improving the sentence? Reflecting on these questions will give you a good idea of where you stand and where you need more practice. Remember, the goal is progress, not perfection. Thank you for joining me on this journey to conquer run-on sentences. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding not just how to spot and correct these common mistakes, but also how to assess and reflect on your own progress. Happy learning and keep up the good work!